All right. Welcome to another Pro Football Doc podcast. Very special episode today for a lot of reasons. We'll get to the special guest. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the new graphics. Love to hear some uh, comments about it in some more five-star ratings. Lots of good things to cover in uh, the second part uh, from uh, why Hennessy is better than Toradol to uh, the QB Masters uh, to a lot of video breakdown. But before we do that, I'm going to bring on our special guest today. And the uh, this is a first. This is a first for me. This is a first uh, for Dr. Brian Moss for having him on. And let me introduce Dr. Moss appropriately here and why it's so special and fun. Besides his being a very good friend of mine, and here I am doing something silly, patting myself on the back, tongue in cheek, of course. You know how coaches have their coaching tree and you know, Andy Reid begat this guy and this guy and this guy all around the league and Bill Belichick, Brian Flores, this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, well, uh, I don't know that I have that similar tree, but I feel like this is the start of a tree. And, and Dr. Moss is more than capable, uh, more than a sapling. Uh, this is my little tree, not only because he was a fellow in sports medicine with me, helping me take care of the chargers and otherwise. And we'll talk about that. And uh, I will give Brian free permission to tell me the worst thing, tell everyone the worst thing about the fellowship. And maybe there's a few good things too, but more importantly, he has now himself a huge media following on TikTok, And we'll cover that, which is kind of the pro football doc trees. I didn't say David Chow, Dr. David Chow tree. You know, there's other fellows. But in terms of the media pro football doc tree, maybe Dr. Brian Moss is the uh, first one here. So wanted to bring him on and have some fun. He's obviously going to be more fun than I am because he does TikTok. He's got more personality <laughs> than I do. But welcome, Dr. Moss. Well, what an honor it is to be here with you, Dave. And I just want to point out, I don't know if people can see in the background, but right above me, I got my fellowship plaque uh, oh, featuring. Tip your camera a little bit. I think it's a little bit crew. out of the. The, the tip your camera up so people can see that yeah let me just i'll just oh, grab, grab it, it off the wall there you go so for everybody uh there's the fellowship plaque uh from from our fellowship in the Ch san diego charger days some of my best days um uh, featuring the medical team and of course uh vincent jackson who passed but um was a amazing guy uh, but I, I always treasure this and uh, hang this, you know, on the wall. And then, you know, right next to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> right next to it, we've got my only check from the San Diego Chargers. Okay. Still, still copied, which will go down in infamy. Is he, did you cash it? I did cash it. This is just a copy. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I've heard stories about players finding checks in their locker before, you know, from years ago. So just I wish I had that problem. You, you, and you then uh, last but not least, I've got still got my coupon for the uh, Charger <laughs> Bowl tattoo versus possible Bears tattoo. I caught a lot of grief when, I'm with, when I was with you guys in San Diego, but... Yeah, because you're a Bears guy at heart. I, I, right, I right, exactly. Well, well exactly. some of that obviously brings back good memories and uh, obviously very, very saddened uh, by Vincent Jackson. And, and I try and look at it where instead of being sad, be happy about the good times and, and everything that was uh, there. And let me tell you, the one thing that, you know, like there are a lot of doctors around the NFL that had fellowships and so forth. But I actually think Brian, your experience with the fellowship, I mean, look, a lot of qualified people out there, uh, orthopedists that, quote, worked with a team. But if you really look into it, and let's say you worked with a team in 2010, uh, what year were you again? I forget what year were you, were you in fellowship? 2011, 2012. 2011. Well, that's close, see? Yeah, yeah. So if you went to some, any, any, look, if we went to Chargers players in 2011, and I've talked to them, and they say, do you remember Brian Moss? The vast majority would say, yeah, okay. Yeah. But I don't think that 
question much of the same to most other fellowship programs. It's sort of stand in the corner and what what have you. And and by the way, how many fellows can say they got us a, a check from the team, right? Exactly. And so, therefore, that that sort of uh, legitimizes the 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 deal. Like we had you traveling, you were there on the sideline, and you. I think you would agree, felt like you were an integral part of it, which is why now that you're with all your social media and private practice fame, I, I'm labeling you the first descendant of the tree, so to speak, right. pro football doc, you know, uh, Absolutely. Media side. So uh, uh, to tell us about that a little bit, how you got into that. And then teach me about TikTok. Look, let me, let me just have this clear. Here's my experience in TikTok. I have no idea what it really is or was, but yeah. my seven-year-old, now eight-year-old daughter, during the pandemic, everything was closed down, and right. she likes, and, and she's actually very shy. And let me tell you, doing TikTok videos brought her out of her shell, where it's something she could do at home alone kind of thing, and she's really very good, good at it. And, you know, even her little sisters, you know, doing some dances and this, that, the other. And she even started taking a, uh, an outdoor dance class slash, uh, like they make like almost pseudo music video type things. And Dylan did a great job doing the TikTok and it was like for her and her brother. So they were all together. Then all I know is she got banned by TikTok. Her entire <laughs> count is down. She was banned by TikTok. Let me tell you, we'll have at Kim Chow on, my wife, Mama Bear. Right, right. She polices things. Brian, you know this. She polices things very closely. Right. I, I can't imagine that TikTok standards are higher than uh, uh, Kim Chow standards. And as a matter of fact, we might, Christian will note that. I mean, we're probably going to do our traditional Mother's Day podcast with Kim Chow as the guest. And that'll have to be one of my questions. There. What you doing, mom? Why is TikTok <laughs> more stringent than you are? Who knows? But that's my experience of TikTok. Beyond that, I have no clue. And I was actually kind of mad because all their fun little dance videos were kind of fun. Yeah. And they, I could like find them and see them like in my picture gallery, but now yeah. it all got, she started a new channel, new TikTok account, but I have no idea why she got banned the first time. But anyways, tell us about how you started and embarked on all of this and tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I actually was, you know, fairly active on Instagram and I saw there's this Instagram guy, personality, Gary V. I don't know if you've seen that guy at all on social media. Anyway, this guy's like a huge entrepreneur, very active in social media. And he kept saying, this was a couple of years ago. He kept saying, TikTok, 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 this is the next thing. So a couple of years ago, I said, well, let's, let's check this out. Let's see what's going on. And at the time, it was really just, it, it was kind of known as like what you were talking about, a bunch of teenagers kind of just dancing around. So I kind of uh, went on TikTok and I kind of started looking around and playing with the technology and I just had a great time with it. And, you know, obviously I'm not going to be dancing around, but I thought this is a great way to kind of help educate and talk about uh, topics that are orthopedic related and, um, you know, just educate the public and have a good time with it, really. And then that kind of spiraled into, like you said, it's a good way to just keep it's amazing technology in how you can edit videos and then actually save them. So now I do family parties. I'll make a quick, you know, one minute TikTok and and uh, stuff with friends. And so it's really just expanded for me. I've got all kinds of videos of my kids now on there. Um, so it's and TikTok, I think, is really, really boomed over the past couple of years. I mean, it's no longer just, you know, teenagers kind of dancing around. I mean, any kind of information you want to you want to get on there it's on there i mean they've got stuff on health and fitness they've got stuff on medicine they've got stuff on finance they've got cooking stuff so whatever your whatever your interests are you can find videos on tiktok well i want to see some examples of your tiktok with your screen share but let me a couple of things that you said right there 
uh, that are fun here. And obviously this is completely unrehearsed and we're just going free form here. Right. Conversation. First of all, my question to you is, why aren't you going to dance on TikTok? I mean, you're a club <laughs> guy. I mean, like, I'm sure that would generate a lot of views or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Secondly, uh, you, you just said something that, that just made me feel so old, Brian. Like, okay, I'll, all I do is Twitter. And yeah. basically, you know, you went Instagram to TikTok. So you're like a couple of steps ahead of me. Like I have right. no clue. Like some guys would talk to me about Clubhouse and I'm like, look, I, I'm barely figuring out Twitter, but I do see that everything has their cycle, right? And like restaurants have their cycle and, you know, you, you know teams have their cycle, but I think social media too, right? I mean, uh, like I'm old enough to remember, I, I I haven't been on any of these, but I'm old enough to, rem to remember MySpace when it was right, yeah. the dominant thing, right? And yeah. that's dead and gone. Uh, you know, Facebook has had its turn. I, I, look, uh, Periscope is now dead or dying, right? I mean, uh, being replaced. And I think we're still streaming this on Periscope, by the way. So that's how antiquated <laughs> that we are here. But in any case, um, and... And I feel like Twitter's plateaued, whereas TikTok and all the other ones are new ones are growing. I mean, to me, Twitter was just a news source. And now it's become, I don't know, uh, Yelp personified, like in yeah. the terms of angry people on, on all sides. I, I'll make like a very neutral statement. And half the people will say, boy, why are you being so COVID crazy, crazy and fearful? And the other half was saying, why are you being, you know, yeah. you know, saying it's anything at all? It's like, it's it was just a very neutral statement. And and the other thing is, I don't know if you've gotten this before, but believe it or not, as you know, on Twitter and other things, I mean, that's the only social media thing that I do. Yeah. And so I do have some kid pictures on there. Okay. Yeah. To me, you're not paying for a service. It's just kind of what I want to do. And I can't, I, have you gotten this on TikTok yet? I've gotten people angry at me saying, I don't want to see pictures of your kids. That's not what I come here for. And yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I don't know, TikTok is maybe more friendly or more fun loving. That yeah, might be a yeah. very good thing because this Twitter thing gets a little bit polarizing sometimes. And, you yeah. know, be it the the, the Trump stuff, This I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing football stuff and sharing pictures of kids now and then and trying to have right. some fun. But, but TikTok, do you get that when you share stuff with kids or is it more friendly? No, I, I'd say it's way more friendly. I, I think, you know, TikTok, they, they, there are, you know, quote unquote, internet trolls and, you know, people are always going to throw some, some comments at you. But I'd say overall, people actually enjoy kind of seeing that, that facet of your life. So it's not always just, you know, ortho, ortho, ortho you know, they'll see some, some videos of your kids and they, it just shows another perspective of your life. And I think people gravitate towards that. So I know you have a ton of followers and I don't know how you count engagement on TikTok and views. I, I don't know. Twitter is the only thing I know, but take <laughs> us through a quick tour. Show us, show us one or two, hit the screen share. Okay. Let's see what we can, let's see what we got. And, and I'll critique you on it. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen them all. Let me see. <laughs> if there's different types, show us one or two different types. Okay, so are you seeing my? Yes. Okay. So, you know, this is just a basically, you, as you scroll through, these are all the TikTok videos that I've done. Um, right now, I have a little over 30,000 followers. Um, but all organically, right? I mean, you just all organically. Don't... Yeah, all organically. I, I mean, I don't really do this to, get, you know, I, I don't do this to get patience. I, I do this, you know, more, it's mostly for fun. And, you know, um, I like to I like to help educate and do it in a fun way. And I like to create. Um, so like, for no, no, example, what, this, what you really meant to Brian, what you really meant to say is that you you wanted to grow the pro football doc media tree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and, and I think actually we could, we could do some good stuff uh, because nobody gives better, you know, analysis and predictions uh, than, than you do. Uh, there's no question about that. 
I think my niche is, is more explaining the actual injury and giving a little bit of, of uh, more of a, a explanation um, on the injury versus you're, you're the best at really breaking down the video and predicting what the injuries are and then kind of being able to analyze, you know, how long that player is going to be out for and, uh, um, and how it's going to affect, you know, the outcome of the games. All right. Um, but Joke like, for videos. yeah, That's so th th this is probably my most viewed one. This is this, this, tr these triangles indicate how many views the video has had. So like this one's been viewed 1.2 million times. So this is probably my most viewed one here. All right, let's see it. Interesting. Cool. Quick. So, easy. I mean, you know, that one the list and the last one is uh, orthopedic surgeons dancing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff, um, a lot of stuff I'll, I'll give pointers on, you know, like, do you want me to show more or do you want me to yeah, show another one? Should show some different types of okay. stuff. Yeah. Do. So different stuff like, uh, like, let me find one where I do like injury analysis. I'll talk about, uh, you know, very common orthopedic issues. Um, I'll do a lot of lighthearted stuff. I'll do some family stuff. I'm trying to find um, some of my football stuff from this season here. Uh, so, so even though I'm calling it from the tree, it's a different take on, on what we've been doing. And, and, and by the way, Brian, I don't know if you realize this, like, People will tweet at me all the time is, oh, you're, you know, I saw something the other day. Oh, so-and-so is better than you at making this YouTube video or so-and-so is, I'm like, okay. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I look at it this way. I try, look, you know this, Brian, when I started doing this, yeah, people were, the first came at me saying, what are you doing? Uh, you're on your couch. I'm like, yes, I'm right. on my couch. I'm looking right. at the video, right? Brian, all the time in your practice today, even this morning, someone comes in, hurt their knee. How'd you hurt your knee? Well, I was playing indoor soccer and my foot was planted and someone hit me on the outside. Well, that's the video, right? And exactly. that's all we've done. And, and you remember when you were with us that we would look at video, right? And hundred uh, percent. When you were with me on the sideline, as I was running out there, what did I always tell you? Don't look at me. Right. At the time it was look at the jumbotron yep. for any replays. And then yep. we had, you know, the, the sideline uh, camera reviews. Yep. As you know, after Monday injury clinic, before meeting with the GM, we'd go upstairs and look at video. Yep. And so 17 years of reverse engineering, video is the mechanism of injury. Now yep. for a chronic overuse, it's a lot harder, but for an acute traumatic injury, especially with good replay angles, that's what it is. So it was something new and different at the time. And I'm really proud that I don't think you're copying what I'm doing at all. You're doing something totally different. Yeah. I, I, I say in jest about the tree, but yeah. there are a lot of people that are doing it now. And I look at it this way. If Tesla were the only electronic vehicle out there, electronic car out there, then that's a concept that doesn't work. The yeah. fact that most car companies now have an electric vehicle means that it's a concept that has legs. And exactly. so anytime there's copycats or different things or people, great. And look, I can tell you, if it hasn't happened already, there's going to be a time where I'm wrong and the other person's right. And hopefully there'll be lots of times where we're all right together, right? I mean, it's just Absolutely. an opinion from, from afar. Absolutely. And uh, don't get too up about it. But anyways, uh, you got another video you want to show us there? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you like a, one, a, a sports break, like an injury breakdown one. So this was with uh, the Dak Prescott injury. I actually not seen that angle before. We got a victory, but lose their starting quarterback Dak Prescott to a serious ankle injury. So reportedly Dak had a compound, fracture, dislocation of his ankle. So what does that mean exactly? Compound means the fracture was open or that the bone poke through the skin at least temporarily. Fracture means bone or bones were broken. A dislocation means the bone was slid completely out of the joint. 
In this screenshot, you can see their head team physician reducing the ankle into proper position while another one of the medical staff holds a sterile dressing on over the open wound. Open fractures carry a higher risk of infection, so DAP was taken to the hospital for IV antibiotics and emergent surgery to walk the wound and fix the bone. Typically, four to six months recovery, and we wish them the best. Oh, that's cool. So that, that actually was a couple of things that I had not seen before. A cu couple of good angles that I haven't seen before. I think what happens is I get too caught up with all these different TV screens. I just see the one angle and yeah. go searching for some of the others. But the, the one thing that I thought was best about that, which is crazy, is you mentioned the, the doctor who is the one wearing the cowboy hat. Right, right. We'll leave that alone. Right, right. Uh, and and uh, reduces it. But did you notice that Dak actually tried to reduce it himself? If yeah, you know, look, I did. Look at the TV copy. That's why I made him a beast of the week on this podcast. Yeah. An ankle fracture dislocation with the toes pointing east and the kneecap pointing north. And the first thing he does is, is he slams his ankle on the ground yeah. to try and straighten it. And then he realizes it falls out again. And then he calls for help. I was like, that's yeah. crazy. That's a real man right there. That's just crazy. You got to get a lot of cool. That's a real man right there. All right. Well, uh, that's uh, very, very cool. Congratulations on your success in TikTok and, and so forth. Uh, now I understand a little bit better. Hopefully you won't get banned uh, <laughs> from, from TikTok. Um, I'm sorry to be looking at, at my phone here, but I won't throw them under the bus, but it is a media guy texting, asking questions, <laughs> interpretations, uh, you know, uh, get that not infrequently. Let's take a quick break. Brian, you got still time to come back for a second half? You don't have to. I know you're busy with the orthopedic practice. Uh, I got time. I got time, man. I can hang out. All right. This way uh, you can critique. Uh, uh, when, when we come back from the, from the break, tell me the worst part of your year fellowship with me. All right. We won't get into the good things. Tell me the worst part. All right. We'll take a quick break from pro football for pro football doc podcast. And we'll continue with a lot of engaging and exciting video here uh, next.